Hello Duckies and welcome to Little Known Galaxy. My name is Viola. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. So, this is a cozy RPG space adventure. And it is a demo from the Steam Next Fest, so let's hop on in and see what this is like, because it looks really, really cute. In the near future, humans have traveled into the universe. Starships have expanded our horizons and have brought friendships to new galaxies. As a new captain in training, you've just been given your first assignment. To join a rundown starship orbiting a desolate gray planet. Your mission is to discover the secrets behind a mysterious relic found on the planet's surface. But with the ship falling apart and no clue le clues left to investigate, the crew has lost hope of ever solving the mystery. It's up to you now, Captain. Remember to support your crew, follow your heart, and always take care of each other. Hey there! I'm CPU, the handy dandy charismatic central processing unit for this very ship. And what is your name? terrible at remembering names. Oh, this ship has a name too. What was it again? Um, should be McShip Face? Hmm, doesn't sound right. Well, hey, let's just rename the ship together now. Oh god, Shippy McShip Face. Space Tulip. Space Tulip. Now that's the name for a spaceship, alright. It's going straight into the database. Also, I should store what you look like in my image files. I don't want to confuse you with other people or furniture on board. Okay, let me show you around the ship now. Ta-da! Welcome to the bridge! This is just one of my many deck levels on the ship. If 
if you find yourself lost during your time, you can access the map of the ship in your space pack. Here's the command center, including your very own captain's chair. You can use your captain's chair to navigate the ship to new destinations or check out progress while we're in transit. It's super duper comfy too. This elevator can be used to quickly move between decks and deck levels on the ship. We have a lot of deck levels on the ship, including science and medical, crew quarters, recreation, cargo and shuttle bay, and the engine. There's also the central plaza deck, which is perfect for socializing and shopping. Let's go to the plaza before the crew gets started with the day. supplies and most things you will need to keep the ship in ship shape. Oh right, Robert is expecting you later. He wants to give you data on buying and selling items. But that can wait. On with the tour. And this is Chip's Canteen. You can grab a bite to eat or spend time with the crew here. Chip should be here soon to open the register and get things cooking. I hear the food is great, but last time I tried it, Stuart had to re-circuit re my processor. Since then, he said I'm not allowed to join in anymore. But moving on, let's head down to the cargo in Shuttle Bay next. Here we are, the cargo hold. Edward is our chief mechanic and runs the machine shop. It's a great place to upgrade your tools and buy mechanical things. It can also help with larger upgrades to the ship when you want to make improvements. This path to our right leads to the shuttle bay, where your shuttlecraft is docked. Your shuttlecraft allows you to visit the surface of any planet we're orbiting. I think you're getting the sense of things, so let's head to your deck now. deck. It is located at the top of the ship next to the bridge. Er, well, I guess it's a bit of a mess right now. This is just a lot of general wear and tear we are looking at here. We haven't had a captain stick around for a while now, so the area has seen better days. Anywho, now that you're here, you, you'll have to spruce it up a bit. And last but not least, why don't you check out your new captain's quarters? Welcome home! What do you think? It's nice and clean. You noticed, I even had fresh sheets put on the bed. Well, feel free to get unpacked and check out your new digs. Just pop out of your quarters when you're ready to start the fun. CPU has done a good job introducing you to your new surroundings. As you know, your assignment is to support your new community, repair your ship, and unlock the secrets of the mysterious relic. Supplying food and resources will be necessary to generate income, as well as taking time to improve your personal quarters and ship's community space. Life out in deep space can be a change of pace for some. Good luck. Welcome aboard! It is with great pleasure that the entire crew welcomes you to our ship's community. We're so happy to have you join our ship and hope it becomes home for you as well. Thank you for joining our team and family. Okay. Well, let's put this down over here. That plant dead. I hope you're settling in and ready to get started. I know your deck has seen better days, so I thought you could use this handy restoration ray. 
This tool can be used to clean up small damaged areas quickly. To use it, press A and hold. Using tools takes energy, so keep an eye on your energy bar. And don't overexert yourself in one day. Give it a try for yourself and let me know if you have any luck. When you're done in here, head to the bridge next to meet our senior science officer. She's been eager to meet with you, too. Just weird looking. Got you. Recycler, compost, furnace. Oh, bunch of different kinds of. <gasps> oh, Jesus! I'm okay. I'm okay. Hello, Captain. I'm Kata. The chief science officer and your second in command. I'm so glad you're finally here because I could really use your help. You see, things on board are getting a little out of control. Progress with our mission is not going very well and the ship has been falling apart more and more every day. We even had to choose some areas of the ship for safety reasons. Close some areas. Uh, the crew has been losing patience and are starting to believe things will only get worse. As the second in command, I have been staying motivated, but it's getting harder to inspire others. Why don't you go introduce yourself to the crew and see what you can make of everything? You can find details on the crew in your crew tab when you're ready. Come and find me once you have a, you've had a chance to meet everyone. Thanks, Captain. Talk to you soon. else up here right now? Nope. Just CPU and you. Well, hello there. I'm Fiji. I'm getting good vibes from you. You have a kind soul. The ship has been giving off strange vibes, so I've been meditating to try and speak with the unsettled spirits. Maybe if we all work together, the Grey Planet will reveal her mystery to us. Um, boom.
it's lovely to make your acquaintance. I am mechanical android number 10, but everyone calls me Max. I am also the designated educational instructor and run our school program. I am not directly involved in your primary mission, but I can be a, be a useful source of statistical and analytical data. You can stop by the classroom if you would like to learn something. Welcome to Le Café Bot. Looking for a refreshment? No, thanks. Bye. Welcome, Captain. Looking for something to keep your energy up? No. Just looking. Oh, you're the new captain, of course. I'm Francis, the chief medical officer. You can come see me in the clinic anytime you need help. My daughter is also a junior medical officer on board. She's around her somewhere. Oh, and be careful down on the gray planet. I swear the last captain was reckless on purpose just so he could get reassigned to a fancier post. Some denominations. Yeah, we just supply some medicine. Go upstairs and see if maybe she's. They have a skeleton. Be the new captain we've been expecting for a while now. I'm the junior medical officer and we'll be tracking your medical records throughout our journey. I do not have any additional data on your assigned mission. Goodbye. Okay. Okay, lady. Oh, aren't you a sturdy and thing? Nice to meet you. I'm Piper. I've been aboard this ship for many years, and my family knows the ins and outs. The ship might be old, but they don't make them like this anymore. She just needs someone to give her a little attention. Maybe one day things will get better around here. Okay, so everybody kind of moves around the ship throughout the day. Mr. Poofy's Puff Puff Bark. Scan and fingerprints will be stored as guest user. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, how about I take the stairs? Oh. Broken living quarters. Maybe this can be repaired someday. <clears throat> Anybody around? Register is currently closed. Bulletins. Oh. Are you really a captain? Yes. Wow, that's cool. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? I believe. Really? This ship makes some creaking noises at night, but I'm too afraid to get up and see what it is. My grandpa says it's because the ship is so old and needs some repairs. 
but he's old and he doesn't make creaky noises. Hi, Captain. Being the botanist aboard a starship means doing a lot more than just research, so I'll be helping to produce food resources for the ship throughout the journey. Even planets like the Grey Planet can provide valuable resources we need to grow crops, so don't discount the items you find down there just yet. Space Jill at the General Store. My name is Robert. My son Jimmy and I are in charge of the supplies here. We carry many items for purchase that can be bought with ship credits. We can also find off-ship buyers for anything you produce and or want to sell. Just bring me your items when I'm at the register. Oh, and that also reminds me. Jimmy! Where is that boy? Well... Wait, I remember how to do it myself. Automatic door opening sound. This here is Binbot. I'll send him to your deck each day to collect anything you want to sell there as well. Eat poop. Here to help. Just put any items you want to sell into Binbot and he'll bring them to me every evening. Feel free to shop around before you leave. I'm looking forward to a prosperous working relationship. Glad you found me, running a general store in the ship keeps me busy most days. Theory allows supplies and seeds that could help with your duties around here. Just saying, a rundown ship and a hungry crew is not great for business. Welcome to 3D Printing Services. Looking to fabricate some new items? No thanks. What the hell? Oh, sorry, I thought you were someone else. So you're the new captain. Well, you don't look like the other captains, but you'll have to work as hard as me to gain everyone's trust. I suppose you'll be heading down to the Grey Planet soon. Sounds kind of exciting, but I'll be stuck here if you need me. too, but that broke a long time ago. Actually, it's been a while since anyone has really bothered fixing anything up here. Sometimes my brother struts around and acts like he's captain, but you seem more capable. Oh, my brother? Yeah, good luck with him. Hey, you must be the young new captain I've heard so much about. Well, welcome aboard, partner. I'm Chip, the ship's chef and I'm usually serving things up at the canteen for the rest of the crew. My wife, Kata, is so relieved you were here, too. She's been working so hard, I barely get to see her anymore. Hopefully you can help make some improvements around here so she can slow down a little. Anybody else around? Does not look it.
I'm just a treaty. Uh. Anyway. Onward. How exactly is this? Oh boy. So, new captain, huh? I bet you don't know the first thing about the ship's inner workings or how to fix any of the components around here. This is exactly why everything is so run down. Newbie captains who don't want to take care of an older ship. Just leave it all to me as usual. What a joke. Not only design my own home security system, but I also have a few undisclosed panic rooms if needed. Don't get any ideas if we find trouble though. They only accommodate two people. Why do humans like to gossip? I will never understand the appeal. Hey, I'm Shinju. Shinji. Yeah. But I'm not really part of the group. My family paid for my room and board, so I'm just studying remotely. No offense, but I wish they could have picked a less rundown ship. I mean, how old is this ship anyway? I'll catch you around. for the intrusion, but it's 8 p.m. I forgot to tell you, every day at 8 p.m. we enter night mode on the ship to mimic a daylight cycle for the crew and to save power. I'll let you know when it's officially lights out later, though. Bye-bye till then.
What am I thinking? We should get to sleep. Customer just a reminder that space park upgrades are still available in our shop. If you add space pack, sorry. Add more inventory slots to space pack. Today I can't afford it. your help I think we can do it together do you think you could make a space you'd make a good spaceship primer yes I'll help in any way I can oh, thank you so much well to produce anything you'll first need to build machines machines and decorations can be crafted on your workbench there are indoor machines like planters that will be marked with an indoor icon and outer hull machines like solar panels that will be marked with an outer hull icon. These types of machines must be built on the outer hull. Here's a basic planter, but planters and machines won't work without power. And you see the power icon flash when it needs power. And let's head to the outer hull and I'll show you how to generate power. generate more power, just build another solar panel to collect all the solar energy around us. The ship's HUD power display will also help you keep track of how much power you're generating and how much your machines are requesting. Here you can have this, here you can have this solar panel to get you started. Let's head back inside and I'll tell you more about plants. Now that you're planter is powered, just press A on it while holding some seeds. See how easy it is? You can have the rest of the potato seeds I harvested this morning. Planted seeds will need to be watered every day until they are ready for picking. 
see the difference between the watered plant and a dry plant? This is the water watering pack I usually use. You can get new seed types from Robert in the general store. Also, any extra crops you grow can be sold to gain credits as well. Bring me some of your potatoes when they're ready and I'll know you have the hang of things. And thank you, Captain. It's nice to have you on board.
doesn't work yet. Hey, it's Steven. I live aboard with my grandparents and little sister, Kendall. If you meet her, try not to mention anything about ghosts. She acts tough, but I think she's a little shaken up these days. It's not her fault, though. Things have felt creepy and isolated since we arrived at the Great Planet. Hey, I'm Edward. You can usually find me tinkering in the, the machine shop. You can probably tell things around the ship have, been, have seen better days. But if I had a little help gathering supplies, I know we could really make a lot of improvements. I know you'll have your hands full with that great planet. I haven't been down myself, but from what Kaida says, it's pretty barren. Last two, or was it three, captains that Space Alliance assigned to our ship didn't really show much interest in helping out around here. So I'm hoping you might be different. But I'll get there. Eventually. Maybe. Hopefully? Who knows? Let's go this way. Let's see if there's anybody we can meet out here. Shinji's Razor. Oh, you look. Oh. Job is so thankless, and honestly, it's not really that challenging for me. Everyone just calls the pilot. 
as a nickname, suggests I am Space Ellipse Navigation Officer. I require a little rest, so you can find me here at the helm most of the time. For our mission, we are orbiting the elusive Great Planet. CPU and I monitor all progress on the surface of the bridge. I just want to finish this quest before I- so it's Sprout. Sprout's the only one. So, it, it, I think that's a kid? Let's try going... of all trainee captains drop out of the program within the first year. Since my arrival on the ship, we've had a 100% dropout rate, since which is statistically impressive. Oh, not that you would... I mean, you look very capable. Oh, shoot. There goes my first impression. from time to time. In fact, I think Edward just mentioned that your shuttlecraft should be up and running now. You can use it to travel down to the Great Planet and start investigating the relic. I've been researching the elements on the surface to see if I can make any scientific connections so far, though. I haven't picked up on anything significant. But before you head down, let me give you some tools to take with you. The shovel is useful to dig up sandy areas on the surface. And take this laser blaster to break up rocks or defend yourself from any aggressive critters you may run into. I'm going to stay on board and continue my research in the lab. It does a shuttle bay when you're ready, and Edward will help will meet you there. Good luck. That probably was a bad idea, but, um, let me go put stuff away. I actually am running out of time, but we're gonna take a quick look at the planet. Stuck away extra resources. To the shuttle bay. This is your personal shuttlecraft right here. Feel free to take her down to the planet's surface whenever we are in orbit. Going down and gathering materials found on the surface is a necessary part of our community, so you'll probably be doing it a lot. These newfangled shuttle models sure look spiffy, don't they? Oh my. She makes quite a punch, huh? Do you see an off switch? It's like a kitten, doesn't it? Anyhow, great planet. 
is waiting for you when you feel like exploring. That relic down there is a real mystery so far and has kind of completely stopped. Good luck and smooth sailing, Captain. Space radish. Search pods, standard issue. Guessing this leads to the relic. Yes, this is the relic. Alright guys, well that is going to be it for today's demo. I would love to do more and explore more and find more out, but I have got to go. I actually have, I have used way more time than I meant to on this demo. I was just so engrossed in it and it's so cute and I, I absolutely love it. This is definitely going on my wish list, guys. So, Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in the EU. Bye-bye!